Hey guys, this is Manisha Dole, actress, best-selling author and speaker and welcome to another video. As you can see from my voice that I am not in the best of health. I have been down with fever and cold which is why I couldn't make videos in the last few days and I really apologize for that. But now I'm back, I'm much better, still recovering and uh, I wanted to share something about fever that I learned from this recent experience. It's that it is something that we should be grateful for. It is not something to be dreaded. Uh, fever is a time of uh, that the body is releasing the toxins. It is a time that the body is detoxifying itself. So it's time to appreciate and express gratitude to the body. The body has a natural system of releasing toxins and detoxifying your body. So I learned this from my recent experience. I was reading about fever and natural home remedies and this is what I came across and it really changed my perspective about sickness and all kinds of diseases. Especially if you're a woman and you're watching this video, if women go through abdominal cramps during our periods and we really dislike it, we hate it, we despise it, but instead of hating it, it's a time to express gratitude to that period that comes monthly without fail and releases our body from toxins and cleans our system. So it's a time to express gratitude to that period uh, and um, to ap appreciate the body and appreciate who we are. So this is what I learned from my recent experience and um, I would like to know your understanding about sickness and a few home remedies for fever and flu would be awesome if you can comment below because I'm really into home remedies and not into the uh, pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical, you know, the pills and medicines, but I'm used to that kind of medicines, but I'm trying to transition to more natural homemade remedies, which are awesome. There are no side effects and it's always better in the long run. So coming back to today's topic, which is spiritual overwhelm. And if you're watching this video, I'm sure you're somebody who is into personal development materials and self-help and spirituality and growth and you love all this. And if you're, a, if you're this kind of person, uh, because I am that kind of person, I love personal development, I love spirituality, I love learning about growth and um, learn any, any, anything new that excites me, I want to practice that and I want to get the maximum benefit out of it. And when you're constantly learning, you come across so many practices, so many materials that you want to practice everything and which makes you overwhelmed and you think that you don't have time and when will you do this practice and that practice and you end up not doing anything and uh, you can't master anything. So this is what I would like to suggest is that you don't have to practice everything, okay? Whatever you're learning, you don't have to practice everything, all the hundred practices, all the hundred mantras. You don't have to practice everything. Just pick four or five best practices that suits you, your life, your circumstances, and your schedule because it has to fit your lifestyle and schedule. So pick four or five and master them. It's about mastery. It's not about just learning and practicing here and there. It's about mastering whatever you're practicing. Only then you will get the maximum benefit out of those practices, whatever you are practicing. So this is my take on being spiritual overwhelmed. If you find yourself being spiritually overwhelmed, it is because you try to fit in everything into your life and everything in your schedule. You don't need all that. You're perfectly fine. You can manage your life very well without practicing everything. So pick a, four, pick a few uh, strategies, few, few practices that you really connect and then master them on a daily basis. It is daily uh, repetition that will make you a master of those practices. So don't forget to practice them on a daily basis and master them and then move on to something new. That's when you will get the maximum benefit out of those little practices and then you will be uh, trained, you will be well equipped to move on to some other practices without losing touch to the basics that you started with. So this is my take on being spiritually overwhelmed. I hope you like this video and I'd like to know your opinions. How do you deal with spiritual overwhelm? And if you like this video, I'd like you to do three things. Like this video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon and share this video with someone you love. And like as I always said, stop waiting and start creating the life that you want. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video on Monday. Bye-bye.